Welcome to Project Guts. In this video, we'll be looking at a star logo model called Turn and Walk. We'll take you through the model so that you can be prepared to engage your students in observing this computer model and discussing how the activity and this model are a bridge to understanding computer modeling in general. This is often done as a whole group discussion with you, the teacher, leading and the model being projected somewhere in the classroom for all to see. At this point, we're assuming that you've seen the video of students doing the turn and walk activity, or perhaps you have even participated in it yourself. The basic rules are to turn your feet towards the person on your right and take a step to where that person was, and to repeat this process until a pattern emerges. This computer model of turn and walk was designed by a computer modeler to resemble the participatory simulation. We're using a tool called Star Logo Nova, which is an agent-based modeling environment and is great for learning coding as well as making models of complex systems and running experiments. We'll scroll down to the area that we call Spaceland and we'll start by activating this button called Setup Uniform. And you'll see that the turtles will set up in a uniform circle. Then we can move the turtles around. We can do it either by clicking this button, turn and walk once, or the other button, turn and walk, and that shows continuous movement. And you can see that the turtles or agents are moving around and they're also leaving a trail behind them. And this allows us to see what the pattern is that's emerging. So we can turn off the action by re-clicking that button and we can start over again if we want to. We can also change things such as the radius. We can see what that does. We can change the number of steps, maybe make it a few more. Also, what does it look like with smaller number of turtles versus a larger number of turtles? You can also see here that there is a setup scattered and we can see what the slider does to that. And we can have them also move. So after watching the activated computer model, we can then have a discussion with our students and ask them to think about using this computer model as an experimental test bed. So what questions or experiments can we run using this computer model? How are running experiments on this computer similar to doing it live with a group of students and how are they different? In uh, this model, these sliders here can be considered variables and they can be changed and then observations can be made. So using the model, you as the teacher can move the sliders around and get suggestions from students for the slider settings to do experiments, to answer questions such as, what happens when we have a lot of agents? Does the same pattern emerge no matter what the settings? And it's important to make the connection between the real world and the computer models so students can begin to understand the importance and limitations of computer models. For instance, I usually talk about students as agents or turtles and ask if they were as good as the turtles in the computer model in following the simple rules. Kids will often admit that no, they didn't turn exactly the way they should have, or maybe they took a bigger or smaller step, etc. This can lead to a discussion about what was different in the computer model compared to real life, what was similar, and in what ways is this computer model useful. Possible answers include how easy it is to do multiple trials in a short amount of time, how you can add or take away agents easily, and change the settings. Also, uh, I want to take a moment or two to introduce you to StarLogo Nova. So this is our environment, our tool, and I just zoomed in on the green area called Spaceland. And you can do that with this, uh, these buttons here as well as your mouse. And up at the top in this white area is the information area and you can see that all of the uh, projects have their unique URL. And when we're in this space, uh, we can see the green space land and as well there are some buttons and sliders and that can make actions happen. And those are related to the code that is down below here. And you'll notice that there is the world and we have some code that goes along with it, everyone tab and the turtle tab. And if you look at this right now, you're going to be like, wow, that's a lot of code. I don't really understand what's going on. And I will have to be honest that this is not the time to show the code to the students. Uh, you'll have opportunities in the future to do that. 
The turn and walk is actually a really easy activity. The rules are simple, but in fact to code it is challenging. And so that's why when you look at this code below, it's a little overwhelming. So I wouldn't recommend that you sit and decode this with your students, uh, especially if they are new to coding. But it is a great model to uh, allow students to connect a real world experience with a computer model. And that's the value of this activity.